What's up guys? We're enjoying this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Me and Summer. Summer got a donuts. Yeah. I just left a uh, bargain store that had a bunch of automotive chemicals on sale. So I went and bought some stock for the shop. Along with some office chairs and some other stuff that we need. Um, I'll show you that stuff once we get back to the shop. But, you know, I just want to say, guys, you haven't seen this a lot. I've been posting a lot of videos. Now, I have been shooting content, but I'm just so darn busy that I don't have time to edit it and post it. So I do have a couple of videos that will be coming up soon of things that we've been doing at a shop. Um, a couple of days ago, I put together a build that we'd done at the shop. It was a very awesome build. It was a 1986 Ford uh, F-150. We ended up putting a four inch lift kit on it. Uh, new, new tires and rims doing a whole bunch of custom stuff to it and we really really enjoyed the build and we loved the opportunity to be able to do it I'll, I'll post some photos of the build that I did take however I documented the whole thing edited the video uploaded the video then since my phone memory is totally full I erased a whole bunch of stuff videos and the one complete video of that build. Well, the next morning when I woke up, I had an error message on my phone from YouTube that the video did not download, that I needed to re-upload it. However, at this time, I had already erased all of the content from my phone's existence. <sighs> this is very disheartening. Especially since I already beat myself up for not posting as much content as I shoot. That's okay. That's alright. There will be a couple of builds coming soon that we've done that I haven't had time to sit down and edit the footage. But trust me, there will be more. <laughs> She's got three things. Awesome! That's really cool. It's my little sidekick there. She's like, she's my little buddy. Um. Anyway, look forward to more content from Freebird Automotive and Towing, and uh, more builds. And just have a great day, guys. I am going to go get some decorations for our garage. Yeah, somewhere awesome. Yeah. About to take the old out. The grill. I'm gonna install some of these eagle eyes. I'll explain more later. So as I said earlier, I'm sorry that we haven't brought you much content. We're working on that. Today we were working on the little Chevy. Right there. We're gonna install some eagle eye strobe lights. I got a really good deal on some lights and I got a really good deal on the control boxes. Can't tell you about those. But anyway, let's take a look at what Scott's doing. We were setting up to put the lights in. Had to measure it off and get three in there. Yeah. Pretty much 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, pretty much how I All right, sounds it good. So we're going to have uh, three lights on each side. A series of yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow, white, or vice versa. I don't know yet, but that's where we're starting at. We're going to put it back on the Chevy here. Yeah, I like it. So I'm fixing to test wire some things up here in this control box and make sure everything's going to flash the way I want it to and then I'll be installing the grill as well as wiring everything to the dash. 
All right, so for right now, we're running all of our wiring. Scott's got to take a break and run to his house real quick. Um, this is the old stuff that was with the original uh, lights that I had in the grill that controller box actually burn up on. Um, so I just took all that stuff out of there, which you've seen that I had fabricated some brackets where I had everything mounted in here. And I put a lot of work into that, but they were cheap lights and, you know, they served their purpose for what they were. But anyway, what I'm going to do right now is instead of using that cheap wiring, I'm going to use speaker wire. Why? Because I'm running two stages, uh, two channels, I should say, for the front, and then I'm going to use two channels for the rear. So I'm going to use speaker wire because it's obviously two wires put together. It'll be a lot neater. And uh, I'm going to come through the firewall and I'll come out here somewhere in this area. But I'm going to leave enough to work with. So what I generally do to get my measurements is just tie off to the steering wheel. I'm going to kind of pull it tight. Let me get a general idea of how much wire you need to use. You know, you always want to leave a little extra so you can uh, work with it and then trim away what you don't need. I'm just going to go through real quick and clean my harness up here before I run it through the firewall. It just makes the job a lot easier and everything's set up correctly for when you get ready to wire everything. Just simply come up through the firewall there and route it up here and I'll plug everything in like right here in this area. Be done. Then we'll check it out. tied together so I have my complete wiring harness now pulled through my firing wall, firewall but still tied off to my steering wheel so that I can get in here and run it where I need to after we hook the front up see after we hook the front up then we can pull all of our slack get everything tied up in between see how much we have left over decide where we want to put our control box I used to have the old one just kind of sitting right here and it worked fine I have always wanted to put something right there, but I don't know if I want to do that yet. So I'm thinking at this moment that I'm just going to simply mount the box here for the time being, since I still have to run lighting to the rear of the truck. And I'm thinking about doing something down here, kind of like where it looks like a, like a Cadillac, like one of the new Cadillacs, but it'll be safety lights. Still haven't got my stinger in, but it don't matter. It's a little chubby, my SS-496. So now I have my wiring harness laid out right here where I need it when I install the grill and hook everything up.
All right, so I got this kind of somewhat mounted for the time being while I play with it some more. I still have the battery pack hooked up to it. But I brought the uh, grill up here and just see what's going on. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Cool. It's good. What I actually ended up doing was making a plug so that if I had to take the grill off, I can just unplug it. Sweet. I just got to finish running the wire just done. Does look good. I like how we buttoned everything up here. Kind of, uh, eventually, we need to get some in here that shines this way that kind of lights this up. I've got these those clear ones left from that kit. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm gonna fix that real quick. What you get? Pretty good. Nice and clean installation. Controller mounted right here. It's just fine. Doesn't move. You got plenty of room to tie more into. Yeah, buddy. Love it. I really like those. Yeah, it's better.